Arthritis is bad enough, but how about gallstones? I don't think anyone who's ever described the pain of gallstones can say that, honestly can say, that it's not the worst pain one could almost experience. Now, gallstones are a real problem, and yet it's very prevalent in the United States today. I think that probably 10 to 20 million people have gallstones, whether they are symptomatic or not. It's a major industry in our country. Would you believe that a half a million people are operated on each year to have their gallbladders out? And it's no fun either, because out of the half a million operations, 10,000 people die as a result of the operations. So gallstones is something we have to look upon very seriously. How did gallstones start in the first place? Well, first, I have to acquaint you with bile, because that's at the bottom of this. Remember that the liver makes bile, which is a digestive substance that helps digest fat, and that people that eat a lot of fat produce a lot of bile. Now, bile is made up of three principal substances. It's made up, first of all, of cholesterol, and then it's made of bile acids, and then it's made of a particular kind of fat called a phospholipid, sort of a slippery kind of fat that helps, helps keep the bile and the cholesterol in solution with the bile acids. Now, if you have too much cholesterol in the bile, the bile acids and the phospholipids can't keep it in solution. It's like putting too much salt in water. When you put too much salt in water, you have a certain amount of salt that stays at the bottom of the cup and won't dissolve. And it's the same way with bile. If you have too much cholesterol, the cholesterol will dissolve to a certain extent, and then the rest that can't dissolve lays there in the form of crystals. And once you have cholesterol crystals, like little needles, laying in the bile, you know it's going to be not very long before the crystals stick together, and it's like a snowball, start to form a little bile gallstone, a little cholesterol gallstone. Now, in populations where cholesterol gallstones are never found, and in animal studies, if you took a measure of the amount of cholesterol in the bile, you'd find it'd be about 300 or 350 at a maximum milligrams percent cholesterol. Remember, in your blood, we like to have your cholesterol less than 160. Well, in your bile, we like to have it less than 300 or 350. How much do you think it is in the Americans? The average cholesterol level in the bile of Americans are six to 900. Can you imagine having a 900 cholesterol in your bile? No wonder the cholesterol comes out in solution and forms stones. In animal studies, animals, of course, never have gallstones in their natural diet, but if you give them high cholesterol diets, like Dr. Taylor has done of Northwestern University, uh, they form gallstones just like people do. And what he did also was to give them a very large amount of lecithin, because some people say, well, lecithin helps dissolve cholesterol problems. He gave them a large amount of lecithin that had no effect whatsoever in the gallstones. But when he cut down the cholesterol from the diet, the gallstones dissolved. In human studies, we find very much the same sort of idea. Uh, human studies, uh, Pima Indians have a lot of experiments done with them because they have more gallstones than anyone in this country. In fact, if you're a Pima female, 25 years or older, three out of four already have gallstones. I think that taking out the gallbladders must be the largest industry in the Phoenix, Arizona area where the Pimas are. It's an epidemic there. And in studies on the Pimas, when they go to have their gallbladders out, one study let them be off all cholesterol for a short period of time, two or three weeks. Now, before they took them off cholesterol, they took samples of the bile, and they found there were many cholesterol crystals floating around. They took them off cholesterol completely for two or three weeks, and all the cholesterol crystals then were dissolved. They couldn't find any. <coughs> now they put them back on two or three eggs a day for three weeks. <coughs> and that was enough in two or three weeks to have all the cholesterol crystals come back. So that it's very clear to see, if we want to dissolve the cholesterol gallstones, we better cut down the amount of cholesterol. And we've had some patients by x-ray of their gallbladders and of their gallstones show that our kind of diet on low cholesterol can actually dissolve gallstones. But if you go to Mayo Clinic, you'll have a different approach. There they give you bile acids. They say, after all, the reason you have cholesterol gallstones is because you have too much cholesterol for the amount of bile acid you have. 
So what's the solution? To cut down cholesterol? Oh, no, we won't want you to change your American diet. The solution is to give you more bile acids. And if the body won't make them, we'll feed them to you. And that's what they did at Mayo Clinic. They fed people bile acids a couple of times a day. And that did, over a period of a couple of years, dissolve the smaller gallstones. But the moment they stopped taking the bile acids, the gallstones grew right back because they didn't change their diet. They've been trying this approach now for about a dozen years. <clears throat> and finally, they're starting to realize that diet is more important than feeding you bile acids. Kidney stones are a very painful problem that happens in many people. And in our country, kidney stones primarily happen because your uric acid level gets too high. And many physicians have tried reducing uric acid level, and they do it by using drugs to reduce uric acid level. And this cuts out the formation of stones almost at once and does it for as long a period as the drug to lower uric acid level continue to be taken. There's a much more practical way to do it, and that is on this kind of diet, uric acid levels normally go down to levels that would not cause kidney stones. We've had a number of stone formers that came into our program that no longer form stones. It's your best bet. Get your uric acid down by natural means. So we find that gallstones, as painful as they are, and as bad as they are, are completely avoidable. These cholesterol gallstones that we have in our country never should be. It only comes from eating too much cholesterol and having too high cholesterol in your gallbladder.